Hi everyone, welcome to day five of our seven days to court confidence, your daily pickleball tip for brand new players. Today we're going to dive into movement and the strike zone. Let's dive in. In pickleball, mastering movement is key to controlling the game and outmaneuvering your opponents. Let's start with some essential tips. First, always stay light on your feet. Being agile allows you to react quickly to the ball and to adjust your positioning as needed. When moving to the ball, anticipate its trajectory and position yourself to strike it comfortably within your reach. You want to take the least amount of steps as you can and use a shuffling movement when possible. This keeps you balanced and avoids tripping over your own feet. Also, you want to avoid backpedaling as that technique leads to injuries while also being the slowest method to track down a ball. Now let's talk about the strike zone. The strike zone refers to the optimal area where you want to make contact with the ball to have maximum control and power. For most shots, aim to make contact with the ball at waist height or slightly below and out in front of you. This position allows you to generate power while maintaining accuracy. Keep your paddle face open and angle it slightly downward when hitting the ball. This helps you to keep the ball low over the net, making it more challenging for your opponents to return. Remember, the strike zone isn't just about hitting the ball, it's also about placement. Aim to hit the ball towards your opponent's weaker side or to areas of the court that are harder for them to reach. For example, if your opponent is closer to the net, consider hitting a deeper shot like a lob to push them back and gain control of the kitchen. On the other hand, if your opponent is really deep in the court, try hitting a softer, shorter shot that is tough for them to get. By mastering movement and understanding the strike zone, you'll be able to dictate the pace of the game and keep your opponents on their toes. So there you have it. Practice your movement, focus on hitting within the strike zone, and watch your game improve with every rally. Stay tuned for day six as I discuss the serve and return along with the two bounce rule. Until then, I'll see you on the court.